Hi guys, I hope that you're having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while since I've been on here, so I wanted to share some of the items that I picked up over the last few weeks. We're talking shoes, a bag, and some other stuff I had no business buying, but I did. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get the show on the road, shall we? Okay, so I'm gonna begin with the shoes first because those are gonna take the least amount of time. So you guys know that I live for sneakers. Sneakers are my preferred footwear. I love to be comfortable. I think that they go with everything and anything, especially, especially luxury handbags. So I picked up a couple new kicks from Converse, especially because I already had these in other colors. So I was like, dude, you need to add a little bit more variety to your wardrobe. Is it really adding variety if it's the same type of shoe, even though it's in a different color? I think so. Some people might disagree, but anyways. Uh, okay, so the first ones I picked up are these bad boys. They are the classic uh, Chuck Taylor in the platform with the black leather. So I have these in the white leather, and I think I picked them up maybe a year, year and a half ago, and you cannot pay me to get out of those shoes. My goodness, that's what it seems like anyways. I wear them year round. I love, love, love these platforms, especially because you do have a little bit of that platform, so it gives you a little bit more height. And seeing as how I'm not the tallest person on the planet, anytime I can add any type of height to, um, you know, to, to what I got going on, I'm going to do it. So <laughs> these are perfect. And I really like the fact that this platform, even though it is pretty chunky, uh, it's not really heavy either because some platforms I, I find that can be, that they can be a little bit uncomfortable. They can feel like they're super, super heavy. And I don't find that that happens with these. With these, for me, there is no break in period. They're insanely, insanely comfortable. I can wear them for legit 24 hours, <laughs> no problem. Uh, I think that they are amazing and I love the black leather. Uh, now these did come with the black uh, shoelaces. I wasn't a fan of the way that these looked. I was like, yeah, I'm not really feeling them. So when I bought them, I also um, bought the white shoelaces and I really like the way that this looks. I mean, black and white is classic right? And even though the platform ones haven't been around forever, just Chuck Taylors in general, they're just, they're, they're timeless. They're absolutely timeless. Let me know if you guys feel the same way, but uh, I think that these are awesome. And I've never had any issues with, uh, with my white ones getting really dirty. I mean, I don't really clean my shoes anyways. Uh, but I find that if you, if you want, you know, if you want to keep them looking as fresh as possible, these are going to be a lot easier to clean up, whether they are the black ones or the white ones, you're just going to take a, uh, a damp cloth to them and you're good to go versus the canvas ones. Cause the canvas ones, once they're dirty, I feel like those are such a pain in the ass to clean. Uh, I know that in the past I've thrown my canvas ones in the washer and in the dryer. Don't necessarily recommend that because they do end up shrinking a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. The, the leather ones for me are definitely where it's at. So these are amazing. Oh, and one other thing, when it comes to Converse, they always recommend to size down uh, a half size. So I do wear a nine in the US, but with these, I am an eight and a half, whether it's platform, whether it's the regular uh, sneakers, whether they're the high tops, canvas leather, it doesn't matter. I am an eight and a half across the board for, uh, for Converse. So there's those bad boys. And the other ones are, and I'll put all the information in the description box below if you guys want to check them out, are these beauties. So again, they're just, these are the classic ones, but the leather, uh, and I love that they have the little red stripe on here as well as the blue, the navy blue. I mean, they're, these are just crazy, crazy, insanely comfortable. Uh, as I mentioned previously, I just prefer the leather over the canvas, and I know that the canvas is like the OG, but these are just a breeze, just a breeze, you know what I mean? They're comfortable, they're lightweight, and again, you can wear them all day long, no problem. I have never had any issues with blisters or with anything like that, and um, I think that they are absolutely, absolutely fantastic and amazing sneakers. Now let's move on to the items that I had no business buying. Now earlier this year, I was dead set. I was dead set on pumping the brakes on these items. I was like, no, I'm not gonna do it. I need to relax, I need to control myself, blah, 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 right? And I thought I was doing pretty good, and I was, because January came and went, February came and went, March came and went, and I was like, oh my God, I'm doing so good. And I was so wrong, because come April, I, I mean, everything just came to a screeching halt, and I, and I failed 
miserably, okay? I am, I'm not proud to say it, but I did fail miserably. So the first of those two items came from Chanel Beauty. <laughs> so uh, I did buy this on their website. I got an email for it and I was like, oh my God, my jaw dropped. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, relax, Minnie. No, I'm not gonna buy it, right? I, I kid you not, I must have gone back and forth for like a half an hour. Not really a long time, right? But I was like, I can't do it, I can't do it. I've been doing so good. And then obviously uh, I ended up giving in, but I did buy this on their website. And I will be 100% honest with you, the only reason why I bought it is because of the packaging, all right? I've said it before. I don't think Chanel has the best lipsticks. I don't. I don't think that they have the best formula, but I saw the packaging and I was like, oh, I have to have it. I have to have it. Uh, but I did pick up the Rouge Allure Velvet, and this is in the Luminous Matte Lip Color. In uh, The color is actually uh, 6 o'clock. But, oh my goodness, I, I, saw, I saw that email. I saw the packaging. I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Now, you guys just heard me rave about black and white with Converse, right? This is why I bought it. It's just a black and white case. And I think it looks beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. It's simple. It doesn't have to have a bunch of bells and whistles. And I don't know what it is about black and white. Black and white is just like, I don't know. I feel like it's my kryptonite. There is something about it. And yeah, I fell in love with it. Uh, they don't have the widest um, variety of colors for this, uh, for this new line. Uh, but I really like the six o'clock. Hang on. There it is. Let me swatch it. It doesn't smell like anything. It, it doesn't. It doesn't smell like anything. Do you guys normally like lipsticks that smell? Um, I know that some uh, sometimes I like them to have a little bit of a, of a scent to them, uh, but sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming. But there is the color. It's a beautiful color, and it goes on really, really smooth. We'll see how the formula is, so I can't really speak to the formula. Um, but it is absolutely gorgeous. But, dude, this little packaging... <laughs> this packaging saw me coming a mile away. They're like, oh, there she is. Uh, but it's just, I don't know. All right, I, I don't know. Like I said, I thought I was doing so well, but I failed miserably. And like I said, they do have a few other colors. Uh, I really like this one. Oh, and it's limited edition. I didn't know that. That those are that, that's another pair of words that I think <laughs> that I think sees me coming a mile away as well limited edition. Let me know if you guys feel the same way, be it makeup or anything. If you guys hear the words limited edition, does it make you look at things a little bit differently? Let me know. Don't leave me hanging here. Um, okay, so now let's move on to this guy. I'm sure you guys can tell by the, the bag or the size of the item. Uh, yeah, I went for a small leather good. Again, another item that I was like, I don't need any more small leather goods. I, I need to just relax, but I saw, I saw this color and I was like, oh, <laughs> my eyes just kind of lit up, you know? Yeah, there are no excuses, all right? It's just gorgeous and I went for it. So I haven't seen it since I bought it. Just um, my sales associate sent me pictures uh, and we'll see what it looks like in the flesh. So, sorry, I was kind of doing like a little unboxing, not really, but there's my receipt and there's a little care booklet the dust bag that says Chanel. <laughs> That's beautiful. I think that there's a theme kind of to this video. You guys will you guys will notice the theme up until the last item. But I picked up the snap button closure card holder. This is in the white caviar leather in the uh, in the silver hardware. I don't know why my camera ends up doing that, but it does. It gets really really dark. But oh man white, white small leather goods, white Chanel caviar pieces. There's something about them. And I really like that this has the silver hardware because my other pieces uh, from Chanel that are white all have the, uh, the, the gold hardware, the champagne gold hardware, except for the O case that I have. So I thought, okay, I can use this as a wall and I can use the O case as like my, uh, my catch all. So that way I can have a little, kind of like a little Mitch, uh, Mitch match, a little matching set. I don't know. See, these are kind of the things that go through my mind when I'm trying to justify 
buying something. And I'm just being completely transparent with you guys. That's exactly what goes through my mind, you know, because I can use other things in the same capacity, but I'm like, oh my God, I could have like a little mini matching set. Again, because I'm trying, I'm trying to justify them. Oh my gosh, but here we go. Uh, the background's gonna get really, really dark, but I want you guys to see the color. It is absolutely beautiful. It's not like bright, bright white. It's not like white out white. To me, it kind of has like a teeny tiny pinkish hue to it. I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see it, but I think it is beautiful. I really love these wallets and they're just really simple. Let me take out the, so it just says, Classic flap card holder in the white. There we go. And I will put the SKU and all the all that other information on the description box below if you guys want to check it out. And it says made in France. It looks pretty good. Let me just kind of. I got so excited. <laughs> I forgot to look it over. Uh, but it looks it looks good. It looks good. Everything is exactly the way that it should be. There we go. I like the open compartment. Um, and then you still have the one little slip pocket in the front. And then you also have a slip pocket on the exterior. So you have a little bit more organization than the ones that, um, that they first had with the snap button. But it's beautiful. Just a simple, a simple classic card holder in the white caviar leather with the uh, with the uh, silver hardware. All right, now the last item I am super, super excited about. Oh, and by the way, I did take the lipstick off my hand. That way I don't get anything on the bag. But uh, this handbag has been on my sub wish list for years. I wanna say maybe three or four years. And what I mean by sub wish list, they are items that I am not actively looking for, items that if I happen to come across them while I'm looking at something else or what have you, and they have to check off three boxes. Those boxes are, it has to be in the condition that I would like to get it in, it has to have the price point that I would like to pay for it, and most importantly, I have to have the funds available for it. If it doesn't check off all those three things, then I don't end up getting it, and it's not a big deal anyways, because I'm not actively looking for that item, right, as I am with my regular wish list. So anywho, um, I came across this bag. I don't even re remember what I was looking at, but I came across it and it checked off those three marks. And I was like, oh my God, oh my gosh, the time has finally come. But uh, it did come because it is a pre-loved item. It did come with the original box. I was absolutely floored with the condition and everything that it came in uh, or came with. I don't even know what I'm saying. That's how excited I am. But here it is in the original dust bag. Any guesses as to what I picked up? So the newest bag to my handbag collection is the absolutely stunning Louis Vuitton Alma MM in the Palme d'Amour Verni. Oh my gosh, this bag is absolutely gorgeous. I did have it authenticated and I always like to go through real authentication. I think that they are amazing. Their turnaround period is fabulous as well. And um, I, th I think that they're absolutely great. I do have a coupon code if you guys want to get some items authenticated. Uh, just transparency because you guys know how I roll. Uh, if you use the code uh, that I'll put on the screen right here, you get $5 off and in turn I get $5 off. But you can always sign up for your own code and that way you can share it with, uh, with your peeps as well. But um, I absolutely love real authentication, but back to the bag. So I have had the Alma, well, I have the Alma BB, right? I have the Alma BB, uh, but I have had the <laughs> Alma PM uh, in Verni. I had it in the Verni in Cerise. I also had it in the Noir Magnetic, uh, and the Noir Magnetic was definitely one of my favorites. Uh, I just thought it was beautiful. It was all black, uh, but the the fingerprint the fingerprints absolutely drove me nuts. And the Cerise one, uh, it's more like an orange red. It's a beautiful red nonetheless, but. I mean, I used it quite a bit. It just still didn't make my heart flutter the way that Palm de More does. There's just something about this red. It's just, I mean, it, it just, it's gorgeous. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. Obviously, as the name states, you know, it's a, it's, it's an apple red. But anywho, so I had the, uh, the PMs. I got rid of those. I also had the Alma PM in the monogram and I had it in the, uh, in the multicolor noir. So I, I'm a huge fan of Almas. I think that they are absolutely beautiful. They're timeless. They're classic. 
Uh, this style has been around for a very long, a uh, very long time. I know that it's not the um, it's not the most popular, but to me, again, I really love the simplicity. I love how massive this bag is because you guys have heard me say it before, even though I appreciate and I love these mini bags, these small bags, these Tic Tac bags, what have you, there is something about a big bag that makes my heart sing insanely loud. And I think that the vernis paired with this beautiful red and the gold hardware, it is just absolutely amazing. It literally comes with everything. Let me just show you guys because I was just like, holy cow. So original box, original dust bag. It came with the original little care booklet. Here is the this card right here. Then you have the barcode or the SKU card. And I have this guy as well. I don't know what this is. I think this is from somewhere else. In the interior, it says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. You have one little slip pocket there. You have another little pocket there. There are no other pockets on the other side and just one giant compartment. This bag, like I said before, it is massive. It is absolutely massive, but it's just, I don't know. I feel like it just it speaks volumes. Is it crazy loud? Absolutely, because there is nothing subtle about Verney, especially red Verney, right? But they, I just, I'm, <laughs> I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. That's how excited I am about this bag. But like I said, it's in like brand new condition. It has feet along the bottom. It came with a little with the little keys and this little clochette also says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. But I mean, the condition that it's in and I, I paid, I paid $935 for this bag. I think that's a steal considering that I think that the MMs at one point in time were $3,100. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Maybe that was for the GM. I don't know. This to me, this, this for me is a keeper because like I said, it is on my sub wish list and it's a bag that I, uh, you know, that I've been hoping to add to my collection at some point in time over the last few years. Uh, so this is it. This, this bad boy is with me until until the bitter end for sure so what do you guys think are you guys a fan of the alma let me know in the comment section down below let me know how you guys feel about verney again i know that a lot of people including myself i wasn't always the biggest fan of it because of the fingerprints and the print are uh, the fingerprints and the transfer that you can end up uh, getting on it and there are some things that you have to be a little bit more mindful but the color payoff that I think that you get when it comes to Verney, uh, I think is absolutely beautiful. Sometimes they also have a tendency to cloud as time goes by. And the lighter colors with Verney have a tendency to yellow, uh, which is the biggest bummer. Anyway, I'm getting off track, but um, stoked, stoked, happy, ecstatic to say the least about the Louis Vuitton Alma MM in the Palm de Moor. Palm de Moor. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, that does it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. Like I said before, I will put uh, I will put SKUs and I will put links to everything in the description box below uh, and uh, as well as the code for uh, real authentication if you guys want to get your items authenticated. But I love you to the moon and back. My apologies for not being on here over the last, uh, what was it? I think it's been like two weeks since I've been on here or three weeks, uh, but it's actually been like a month since I have filmed. We went on vacation uh, and, you know, just life and work and everything kind of got, uh, got the best of us. But uh, yeah, I hope that you guys are doing fabulously well. I hope that you're having an amazing, uh, what is it, April so far, but I love you to the moon and back. If you enjoyed this video, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.